Hello everyone. Imagine for a moment that you're standing on the surface of the moon. You look around, and what do you see? A vast, dusty landscape stretching out in every direction, with craters and rocks that have been untouched for billions of years. It's beautiful, isn't it? But it's also harsh and unforgiving. Now, what if I told you that just recently, scientists discovered something remarkable? A cave on the moon? Yes, you heard that right. A cave. And it's located about 250 miles from where Apollo 11 landed. Can you believe it? Let's dive deeper into this discovery. This cave is not just any cave. It's about 130 feet wide and extends for around 100 meters. It has a skylight, which means there's an opening at the top that lets in light. How cool is that? It's like nature's very own window into the universe. So, how did scientists discover this lunar cave? For decades, researchers have been analyzing the moon's surface, and since 2009, they have identified over 200 shadowy openings that suggest the presence of subsurface structures. Many of these openings are believed to be formed by volcanic activity, potentially leading to extensive underground networks created by flowing lava. But you know, scientists have suspected there may be caves on the moon for more than 50 years. They first discovered pits on the moon in 2009 and wondered if they led to caves, but didn't confirm the theory at the time. Recently, an international team of scientists published a study in Nature Astronomy that revealed what lies beyond one of these mysterious pits. They utilized data captured by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, specifically its miniature radio frequency, MINI-RF, instrument. This technology works by firing electromagnetic waves at the lunar surface and analyzing the radar echoes that bounce back. Isn't that incredible? With advanced signal processing techniques, the researchers created a model of a portion of the tunnel. What they found was astonishing, a subsurface cave that extends for tens of meters. This suggests that there may be an even larger hidden area beyond what we can currently see. Just think about the possibilities. What could be hiding in those depths? Perhaps ancient lunar rocks or even clues about the moon's volcanic past? Understanding the geological history of the moon is crucial for piecing together the story of our solar system. Now let's discuss why this discovery is so significant. The moon is a harsh environment. On the sunlit side, temperatures can soar to a scorching 260 degrees Fahrenheit, 120 cells, while the shadowed side plummets to a bone chilling minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit, 973 degrees. But guess what? Inside these lunar pits, the temperature is estimated to be a much more stable 63 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like stepping into a controlled laboratory environment after being outside in extreme heat or cold. The stable temperature inside these caves makes them ideal for potential human habitation. Living underground would provide natural protection against micrometeorite impacts and harmful radiation from the sun. Radiation that is about 150 times more intense than what we experience here on Earth. This is a critical factor for long-term lunar missions, as exposure to high levels of radiation can pose serious health risks to astronauts. Can you see how this could be a game changer for future lunar missions? These caves could serve as potential habitats for astronauts, allowing them to thrive in a safer environment. Let me share a quick personal story. When I was a kid, I used to lie on my back in the grass, staring up at the stars, dreaming about what lay beyond. I would read everything I could find about space and the moon. And now, standing here, I feel like that dream is becoming a reality but it gets even better. One of the most exciting aspects of these lunar caves is their potential for resource utilization. Recent studies have suggested that some of these caves may contain water ice, which could be a vital resource for sustaining long-term lunar missions. Water is essential for life, and finding it on the moon could change everything. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has already detected signs of water ice in permanently shadowed regions near the lunar poles. If we can access water from these caves, it could be used for drinking, growing food, and even producing oxygen for breathing. Moreover, water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis, which could be used as rocket fuel. This means that astronauts could potentially use the moon as a launching point for missions to Mars and beyond, making the moon a crucial stepping stone for human exploration of the solar system. 
Now, while the prospect of living in a lunar cave is thrilling, it also presents challenges that we must overcome. Establishing a permanent presence on the moon will require bold new technologies. NASA's next crewed exploration mission is set for September 2025, where astronauts will launch aboard the Orion spacecraft to orbit the moon. However, it won't be until September 2026 at the earliest that the Artemis 3 mission aims to return U.S. astronauts to the lunar surface. Can you imagine what it will be like to watch astronauts step onto the moon again? What do you think they'll find in those caves? As we look toward the future, it's essential to recognize the role of international collaboration in lunar exploration. And who knows? Perhaps one day, you'll be standing on the moon, looking out from a cave, gazing at Earth in the distance. So, keep dreaming big, keep exploring, and remember, the universe is vast, and it's waiting for us to uncover its secrets. Thank you all for being such an engaged and enthusiastic audience. Let's continue to reach for the stars together.